searching for an answer, I never seem to find what I'm looking for. So I know what it means to walk along the lonely street of dreams. And here I go again, but not on my own. And that's one of many ways in which I differ from Whitesnake. I'm actually joined by some old friends, winners of the most recent two series of Only Connect, because this is the all-powerful champion of champions battle. Who is here to try and get the ultimate supremacy? On my right, Holly Pattenden, a professional strategist who loves Verdi operas and drinking burgundy wine. Gareth Price, a folk music fan who works as a magazine editor and enjoys European travel. And their captain, Dom Tate, an associate editor and fan of Liverpool Football Club. They beat the Cyphers, the Teffel Teachers, the Wordsmiths and the Draftsmen to claim their title as Series 6 champions. They are the Scribes. So, Dom, new champions. What was the highlight of your Only Connect tournament? Um, I think early on in one of the rounds, we got uh, a question on inscriptions and pan coins uh, quite early, and it was the dawning realisation we might not be rubbish. It was really quite nice. Well, I hope for your sake there'll be a lot of money involved tonight, and I hope that for my own sake as well. Let's see who you're facing. On my left, Paul Steeples, a bass baritone with the Morley College Choir London and fan of Altrincham Football Club, who works as the head of a vocational qualifications team. William Diath, an Oxford maths graduate who enjoys scuba diving, trekking and skiing. And their captain, David Lee, a political risk analyst who loves cricket and all things Spanish. Well, welcome to the Inquisition. They are a team of professional analysts and our Series 5 Only Connect champions. Welcome back to the analysts. David, lovely to see you again. What have your team been up to since we saw you last? Oh, just pottering about, analysing stuff, mostly. I bought a flat, not with my proceeds from Only Connect, obviously. But, you know. So I'm analysing what's in what box at the moment, mostly. I'm sure you're as brilliant as ever, but there's only one way to find out. Let's play the quiz. Starting with round one, what's the connection between four near-impossible clues? Scribes, you won the toss, but you've decided to throw the analysts in first. So, David, could you please choose a hieroglyph? Lion, please. Sorry? OK, what is the connection between these? Here's the first. OK. No. Next, please. That doesn't mean anything. It's to do with Toy Story. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Could be things on films, because the statue might be a thing on Fargo. If, um... OK. Next, please. Pilkin and Man was made up. Um, okay, so is it fake archaeological discoveries? Oh, no, but I don't know. Oh. Next, please. Three seconds. Three it's, seconds. it's the means of various famous hoaxes and fakes. Yes, I mean, creating hoax creatures, rather specifically. Yeah. But yes, they are all hoaxes. Paper cutouts of fairies. They were the Cottingley fairies. Do you know who they fooled? It was Conan Doyle, wasn't it? Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, a couple of schoolgirls took sort of primitive pictures of paper cutouts of yeah. fairies. Conan Doyle thought they were real. The ten foot gypsum statue, what's that? Yeti, Bigfoot, something like that. It's the Cardiff Giant, although not Cardiff where we are now, Cardiff in New York, a petrified giant that was dug up in 1869. And what did the plastic wood head and toy submarine create? Wouldn't be the Loch Ness Monster. Of right? course, the infamous surgeon's photograph of the Loch Ness Monster. Okay. So, yes, hoaxes was the connection. Scribes, it's your turn to choose. Twisted flax, please. Twisted flax. What is the link between these clues? Here's the first. Any idea? Um, next, please. Oh, much smaller version. Yeah, yeah, it's a, a, a much smaller version. Much smaller than they came back. Smaller than intended. Much smaller than they were intended to be. Yeah. Much smaller than they were intended to be. I mean, smaller, less would sound better in some of the groups. It's just measurement mix-ups, things that uh, went wrong because of measurement mix-ups. Yeah, Stonehenge and Spinal Tap was supposed to be 18 foot high. They made it at 18 inches. The Mars Climate Orbiter, that was a problem between the difference between newtons and pounds. And you didn't need to see the Gimli or Gimli glider, which ran out of fuel because there was too little fuel put in there because uh, pounds and kilograms were confused there. And Jimbo the aeroplane, his designer mixed up inches and centimetres. Well done. Back to you, analysts, for a choice. Water, please. Water. OK. These are picture clues. What connects them? Here's the first. Will of the West. OK. Next, please. In the secret garden. Gates. Mm. 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 
Next, please. Mm, it could be going on children's books or something like that. It's, it's the secret is what I'm going Ten seconds. Next, please. Three seconds. They're in the titles of children's books. They are not in the titles of children's books, so scribes, your chance for a bonus. Uh, by C.S. Lewis. I'm not going to take that because it's a bonus chance and I'm being strict because it's champion of champions. Together, you're stumbling towards the answer. Okay. They are ways to get into Narnia. Of course, a, a creation of C.S. Lewis, but they're not all in the titles. The pool in the wood is the way to get in in the wood between the worlds. The door in the wall, door in a high wall, that's the silver chair. The wardrobe, of course, Lion, the Witch in the Wardrobe, and the Dawn Treader, Voyage of the Dawn Treader, but specifically ways to access Narnia. OK. All right, scribes, no bonus for you, but would you like to choose a question? Two reads, please. Two reads. The music question. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Okay, next, please. Next, please. Next, please. Uh, fields of gold. Ten entertainer. seconds. The entertainer, fields of gold. The end of any connect. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, end, ends of quiz shows. They are not the ends of quiz shows, although I'll tell you, I nearly got up and walked out after one of them, but that's not what they are. <laughs> Analysts, do you want to go for a bonus? I don't think we've got anything, have we? No. Mm. Now, that little bit you heard from Only Connect is not actually oh, the end of the show, it's the sting it. between the rounds. You were sighing over there, we heard the entertainer known as the sting of Peace by right. Sting, Fields of Gold, and the first one from Handel's Messiah, O oh, Death, Where Is Thy Sting? David, did you get that just as I started to give the answer? As literally as soon as you said, no, I got it. <laughs> Unlucky, seconds too late, you realise that one. But you don't get the bonus, you do get the chance to choose a question. Hi, Horace, please. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Oh, is a video game. Uh, next, please. Next, please. Next, please. Ten seconds. Yeah. They point at you out of pictures. Posters. Yes, they do. Professor Layton, a computer game character, yeah. who, well, he points for all I sorts did, of reasons all I the time. I that, but I didn't know he pointed at you. Yeah, apparently he does point. Uncle Sam, of course, in the I Want You for the US Army. Alan Sugar apparently points people when he's firing them. It's not very polite, is it? And Lord Kitchener pointed on a poster which had which slogan? Your country needs you. Your country needs you. So, quite right, very well done. And scribes, there is one question remaining, the horned viper. What connection lies here? Time starts. Now. Next, please. The cops, do they have cop ends? Next, please. Eternal flames. Eternal flames. The locations of eternal flames. You didn't need to see the last one. The gravesite of John F. Kennedy, the assassinated president. These are all places where eternal flames burn in memory of the victims at Hiroshima, of course, at the Anfield Stadium after the terrible Hillsborough disaster and the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Eternal flames burn there. Well done. So at the end of round one, the analysts have got two points. The scribes are ahead with five. <laughs> Ah, that familiar sting. Must sound like a rub down now. <laughs> On to round two. The sequence is round. I simply want to know what's the fourth in the sequence. But the word simply is misleading because it's not going to be simple 
at all. Analysts, you're to go first again. Please choose a question. Two reads, please. All right. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. no. Oh, no. Um. We've got to take the next one because we can't get the re we can't get the sequence. No. Next, please. That's That'll be no. now. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. Ten seconds. Yeah. Attribution to author unknown. Brilliant. And why is that? Um, prefix for nine is nono. Uh, nona. Nona. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Onan spilled his seed on the ground. 10 to the minus 9 is nano, mm -hmm. um, so it's rearranging those, uh, rearranging those letters. That's right. And the sequence is, it's sort of a circle. N-O-N-A, O-N-A-N, N-A-N-O, A-N-O-N for Anon, for example, an unknown author. Well done. Scribes, your turn. Uh, water, please. All right. What will be the fourth in this little sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. And next, please. Can just get the full time? Spelting is a Celtic festival. Oh, is it? So maybe these are Celtic festivals. Uh, Celtic festivals. 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 Celtic not the answer, I'm afraid. There's a bonus chance for the analysts. Uh, Halloween. That's not it either. But what's your logic? Uh, order of importance of pagan festivals, I hear from my left. It actually is pagan festivals sequentially, but after Beltane you get Midsummer. That would okay. be the next pagan festival. Your turn now, analysts. Which hieroglyph appeals to you? A lion, please. OK. These are going to be picture clues. What would you expect okay. to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. So the yoga. Yoga ten. So it's going to be a hieroglyph or something, isn't it? One. What was the one? Ten seconds. Three seconds. Some form of bird and one. I'm afraid that is not the answer. Scribes, there's a bonus chance for you. No, uh, a parrot and one. A parrot? Yep. Do you think if it was a parrot, I'd have said they couldn't have it when they said a bird? <laughs> I see what you mean. <laughs> I may be a cruel task, mistress, but even I'm not that bad. No. Now, I wonder if you're thinking about the right sort of thing, analyst. What did you think the connection was? Uh, we were kind of very suspicious that we weren't barking up the right tree with um, hieroglyphs and the representation of numbers. You're right about that. The yeah. hieroglyph hid hieroglyphs. They are Egyptian numerals and one is what I wanted to hear, but it was symbolised by a staff or a straight line, not a bird. Yes, the lotus flower for a thousand, a coil of rope for a hundred, a cattle yoke, ten but the Egyptian numeral hieroglyph for one would be a straight line or a staff. Very close, but no cigar. I would have accepted cigar, because that's a straight line, <laughs> but I didn't hear it. Back to you, scribes, for a choice. One viper, please. OK. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Mm. Oh, remember it's in caps. Um, yeah, it's a... uh, next, please. Next, please. Madam. Yes. 
that's your answer. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's not correct. So there's a bonus chance for the analysts. R-O-T-A-S. That's not it, but what's your thinking? Paul said R-O-T-A-S and my right ear, so I... think it's a palindrome or something. It's a complicated set of palindromes known as the Sator word square, where the words oh, read the yes, same yes, across yes, and yes. down every column. Next would be opera, which you'll see is the second clue backwards, which makes sense. Oh, R-O-T-A-S would actually come next after opera. So I'm guessing you must have seen this word yes, square before yes, yes. because mm. you know the line, but actually to get to rotors, you need opera. Gump. Analysts then, one more choice for you this round. Twist of flax then, please. OK, what is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Oh, this is going to be... Is it Eddie Mulrooks? Next, please. Oh, no, it's the... It's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 um, so it's the... It's um, Albion's... You, no, it's the... It's the Persian... It's the Coalition it's Academy one, isn't it? Yeah. It's the, it's, it's the Paris News was Blair, wasn't it? Yeah. I see what I was John Major. Yeah. 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 New Coalition Academy newsletter. That's exactly what it is, the New Coalition Academy or newsletter. Very well done. Coming in after two clues, you get three points. Why is that? They're the um, spoof columns from the Prime Minister of the day in um, Private Eye, consecutively from Major Blair, Brown and Cameron. Exactly right. Well done. That leaves only the eye of Horus to stare menacingly at the scribes. What would the fourth clue be in this sequence? Here's the first. OK, next, please. Next, please. OK, Oh, the man who went to St Ives. I met him yeah. going to St Ives. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the man who I met on the way to St Ives? Who did you meet on the way to St Ives? A man with seven wives. Ah, oh, no. Oh, yeah. There was a chance you met this person on the way to St Ives, but apparently no. So a possible bonus chance for the analysts. Well, that was where we're going as well. Uh, so we're going to say Richard Burton. <laughs> That's a really nice answer and sort of works in a funny sort of way. The answer is actually Thomas Seymour. These are the husbands of Catherine Parr. And if she kept going, she probably would have married Richard Burton eventually. She was married twice before her union with Henry VIII. That was the one that survived, of course. And after his death, she married Thomas Seymour. At the end of round two, then, the scribes have got five points, but the analysts are ahead with seven. <laughs> On to the connecting wall now, the jumbled up 16 clues that need sorting into four connected groups of four. Scribes, you'll be going first now, so you've got a choice, lion or water? Lion, please. Lion, OK. You've got two and a half minutes to solve this wall, starting now. Oh, my I've heard of, um, Clarity, this is a prize in... Um, Trophy. 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 Yeah, it seems a little bit too easy. Sorghum is a type of wheat, I think. Uh, and millets, these are kind of... Size of grain. Yeah, these are kind of grains, aren't they? Um, I wonder what amaranth is. I can't quite remember. I think there are probably words for precede things here, like belt and plate, crust, steroid. I can have an A before it. Uh, no. Oh, acorn, asteroid. And we're going to help it. Yeah. Adrift? Yeah, adrift and... Um... Well, there's got to be another. I can't believe there wouldn't be. Atrophy. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> OK, yeah, well, let's, okay. Let's, let's say there's another. Uh, Avenue. OK. Mm. Axe. I bet I'm doing the same ones here. OK, let's leave Trophy. And... Did you drift? Did OK, that? I don't think I have one. I will do so now grains, Constant quinoa is, can only be a grain, can't yeah, it? Yeah, I agree. Amaranth. So no. millet as well. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Oh, corn is gone, of course. Yeah, OK, so they're all grains. Three right? lives, of course, now. Trophies or prizes, plate, cup, claret jug and dish. dish. Yeah. Um, and then, so and then these are... Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, like so continental so shelf, continental yeah, shelf. Yeah, so the Earth's crust. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if it's just continental. And shelf. I mean, I like that, but let's just... We've got a bit of time, so let's just have a think. Um, 
Yeah, it's got, it's got to be I good. Think I think I like it. Yeah, I like it. I'm just trying to okay. make sure that we know what we're going to say when we hit it. Yeah, because plate could be in either. Oh, uh, I see. So, but yes, I see what you're saying. Yes, so it is going to be those four, I think. But I do want, I'll just hit three of them for now. I want to make sure our answer is absolutely right for this. Um, I think that can be preceded by continental. I think that certainly can. Belt, not sure. I don't think crust. crust, crust. crust. So maybe just parts of the I earth or just, things that yeah, can happen to the, the earth's core. Things that core move in the earth. Or areas, yeah, areas associated with tectonics. Maybe that's yeah, better. Tectonic term. You've got 30 seconds oh, and two problem. lives now. There's a problem. So plate can be tectonic. Okay, let's leave so. it then. Cup, carrot, children, dish. A belt. A belt for the yeah. That's it. You solved the wall. Very well done. Four points there. Let's see about the connections. Trophy, venue, corn, steroid. Can be preceded by A to make new words. Atrophy, avenue, acorn and asteroid. Exactly. Very well spotted. You got that early. That was the really tricky one. And what about this green group here? They are all types of grain or food stuff. Yeah, I'll take it. Their seeds are used in cereals, but yes, edible crops. And the next one, cup, dish, belt, claret jug. Right. Sporting prizes? All sporting prizes. You recognise the claret jug. What's that from? Mm, the Open. Yeah, it's some sort of golf thing, I'm led to believe. Some people get some prizes for that. I don't know why. And the last one, shelf, mm. drift, plate, crust. I think they're all terms from tectonics. Yes, do you want to tell me any more? I'm going to continental term, continental drift, continental In tectonics, you can put continental before all of them. Mm. Very well done indeed. So that is four points for the groups you found, four points for the connections. Of course, you get two bonus points for getting it all right. That's the maximum of ten. Very well done. Time to bring back the analysts, see what they can do with the connecting wall. Sixteen new clues still need sorting into four connected groups of four. Analysts, it will be the water wall for you. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. So hang on, so let's take... So we've got lots of... Hang on, so the... Um, yeah, so... Probably not splits, possibly another category there. There we go. OK, Leonard, it's your own haggler. Um, Middleweight boxer specifically. Yeah, you know that balloon is that top. That's Canadian coin, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's... Um, hang on. Sub sub to the yeah sub, talk talk you around you around yeah okay um, which leaves us with um, loads of boxes timer pooler timer loads of boxes and yeah another box that's coming off don't we so yeah so um, hmm we've got to sort the boxes because anyway, yeah. there are six of them yeah, yeah. okay. Right, OK, so let's go for... Um, We're about halfway through the time. So anything to do with the weights? Um, I think they're all more or less middleweight yeah, yeah. over time. I suppose we might as well try the ones that Hang aren't on. like it. So. Hang on. It's got this on here. Um, there we go. Three lives now. OK. Fuller, Loon, Leonard and Tyler. That's it, you've solved the wall. OK, that's four points for you there. Let's look for the connections. Split, Dubrovnik, Zadar, Rijeka. Cities in Croatia. They're Croatian cities. What about this? Hearns, Hagler, Ben, Eubank. Uh, boxers, specifically middleweight world champions. That's absolutely the perfect answer. World middleweight champions. Are you boxing fans? Uh, I probably was back then, back in the, back in the golden back in the years. <laughs> Something was better back then, eh? Yeah, always. <laughs> and what about this? Duran or Duran, sub, the, talk. Re uh, repeat them and uh, you get the name of a, ba of a band in each case. That's right, the pop groups Duran, Duran, sub, sub, the, the, talk, talk. And what about this last group? Leonard, Timer, Pula, Loon. Um... Hmm. Not so sure on this one. Uh, currencies. That's not it. Now, this devious connection is almost invisible to the human eye. 
But what if you changed one letter in each of those clues? You could turn them into leopard, tiger, puma and lion. They all become big cats if you change a letter, but the claws were really hidden there. Mm. Very well done, though. You found four groups and you get three bonus points for the connections. That's a total of seven. Let's have a look at the scores going into round four. The analysts have got 14 points, but the scribes are ahead with 15. This is going to make for a hotly contested missing vowels round. It will be decided here. Of course, we'll be taking the vowels out of well-known names, phrases or sayings, squidging up the consonants. I want to know what the hidden clues are. And of course, the teams can lose points if they get a consonant wrong. Or indeed a vowel. Fingers on buzzers, teams. The first group are all literary aunts. Analysts. Lady Bracknell. Correct. Scribes. Betsy Trotwood. Correct. A tricky one, this, from Cold Comfort Farm. It's Ada Doom. Next clue. Analysts. Aunt Agatha. The Mastodon herself. Correct. Next category, films with photographer protagonists. Analysts. Spider-Man. Correct. Scribes. The Bridges of Madison County. Correct. Scribes. Funny Face. Correct. Scribes. Rear Window. Correct. Next category, correct versions of common misquotations. Scribes. Double, double, toil and trouble. That's right. Analysts. Play it, Sam. Correct. Analysts. Leon McDuff. That's right. No, oh, come on, this one is Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio. Next category, works of JMW Turner. Scribes. Eruption of Vesuvius. Correct. one was Dido building Carthage but Carthage. the little sound means we're at the end of the quiz and after an amazing round four for the captains especially the analysts finish on 19 points but the winners and new champion of champions for only connect with 21 points are the scribes very well done what an absolutely successful tournament for you and you're icing the cake with the champion of champions Analysts just pipped this time, but it was lovely to see you all again and some brilliant quizzing, of course. Thank you for playing. Thank you. And thank you for watching this special episode of the problem-solving quiz that doesn't actually solve any of your problems. As I've learned to my cost. Goodbye.